in this video i explain you classification of energy resources first classification is according to usability of energy and according to usability of energy there is a three types is there first one is primary sources second is intermediate and the third one is the secondary resources so first we understand the primary resources primary resources are incorporated in nature prior to undergo any human made conversions or transformation means they are available in the nature okay incorporated in a nature means they are available in a nature and they are undergo conversion or a transformation means we are able to convert them in a one form to another form an example of these primary resources are coal second is crude oil sunlight rain running rivers vegetations and the uranium okay so these all the things are naturally available in a nature okay that's why they are called as the primary resources these resources are generally available in a raw form means some of the primary resource we are not able to directly use okay that's why it is called that it is available in a raw form and that why they are also known as raw energy resources okay so they are available in a raw form that's why it is called as the raw energy resources generally this form of energy resources cannot be used as such means we can not able to directly use the primary resources first we need to locate it and after locating the resources we need to explore it and then after we need to extract it okay and after the extract we need to do the process and are converted to a form as required by the consumers okay means there is a lots of process are there first we to locate explore extract then after process and then after we need to convert to the required form thus some energy is spent in making the resources available to a user in a usable form okay now suppose i give the one example we find out the coal in a some earthen pots so for removing the coal from the earthen pots we are required some machines nari okay so we need to spend some of the money okay suppose we find out that is a crude oils are available at particular place so we need to remove the crude oil from this place okay so they are required to make the bore or a drill on the earthen pots okay so they we spend some energy for processing the drillings removing the crude oils from the earthen pots then after they are processed in a refinery and in the refinery they separate in a petrol diesels and kerosenes or in a some different petroleum products okay for processing we require some of the energy okay so these energy are also important factor so that is a one terms are there here that is a energy yield ratio okay so what is the energy yield ratio the only resources for which the energy yield ratio is fairly high are considered worthy of exploration means for the explorations the energy required for explore this resources are lower than it is good for us okay the energy yield ratio of an energy extraction process is follow so here you see that is energy yield ratio is equal to energy received from a raw energy sources divided by energy spent to obtain raw energy sources okay means earlier i gave the example of the crude oil we need to do the drill on the earthen pots and then after we remove the crude oils then after it is supplied in refinery and in the refinery different process are occur means we are spending some energy okay and we are gaining some energy means we receive some energy from the raw energy sources okay so suppose we receive the energy from the crude oil okay so here our raw energy is the crude oil okay from the crude oil we achieve the 1 megawatt energy and for achieving this 1 megawatt energy we are spending the 0.5 megawatt energy okay so it is a 1 divided by 0.5 so energy yield ratio is 2 okay so it is called as the good things okay suppose we receive the energy from the crude oil is the 1 megawatt and we also spend the 1 megawatt of energy to cover this energy okay so it is not called as the 
good good energy yield ratio okay so this thing is also important to recover the energy from the primary resources second one is the intermediate resource so these resources are obtained from primary energy resource by one or more step of transformation okay means we need to perform various steps on the primary resources then it is called as the intermediate resource means we do the process on the crude oil okay then we get the petrol diesels and the different products and the last one is the secondary resources these resources are finally supplied to a consumer for utilization means what the fuel what the resources we are consuming it is called as the secondary resources okay so this form of energy is also known as the usable energy because the human some company some industries are directly use it okay so example of these resources are electrical energy thermal energy chemical energy are the examples of secondary resources now there is a more three classifications are there before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to renewable energy subject or other subject of this mechanical engineering for renewable energy the various link is provided in descriptions as well as in the playlist or in a card now the second classification is according to the traditional use means traditional use means from the few decades which fuels are used it is called as the traditionals okay so according to traditional there is a two types are there one is the conventional and second one is the non conventional so first one is the conventional energy resources so these resources are being traditionally used for many decades many decades means one decade means 10 years okay so they are used from the many decades and were in common use around the oil crisis of 1973 okay so before 1973 which resources are used it is called as the conventional energy resources and the example of these resources are fossil fuels fossil fuel means the different petroleum product various gases is called as the conventional energy resources nuclears and hydro resources now second in the traditional use it is called non conventional energy resources so these resources are considered for a large scale use after the oil crisis of 1973 means after the oil crisis of 1973 the industries or the persons have start to use the energy resource it is called as the non conventional energy resource an example of these resources are solar wind biomass and oceans okay so here you see this examples from this example what we concludes so these conventional energy resources are the non renewable okay and the example of the non conventional they are the renewables okay so now next classification is based on the renewable and non renewable resources so next classification is according to long term availability so according to long term availability one is the non renewable and second one is the renewables so non renewable means so from this renewable word what we understands renewable means we can again and again use after issuing it it is called as the renewable energy okay so here what the word is means a non renewable means these resources are finite and do not get reuse after their consumption means after the consumption we are not able to use it again it is called as the non renewable energy sources and example of these are fossil fuels uraniums okay so here you see these two examples are match okay so we can also conclude that the conventional energy resources is equal to non renewable resources second is the renewable resources renewable means we can able to use it again and again it is called as the renewable resources so these energy resource which reuse themselves naturally means we are reuse it them naturally in relatively short time thus will always be available are known as a renewable energy resources so here these terms are important we can again use after short times okay so we use the solar energy okay so solar energy is not available for the night times okay so after the short times means in the next morning we are again able to use it that's why it is called as the renewable resources so example of these renewable resources are solar wind biomass ocean hydro geothermal okay so these all are the natural resources and we can again use it okay i mean solar energy we can use again 
means reuse okay wind energy we can reuse biomass ocean hydro and uh, geothermal resources now last classification is according to commercial application so according to commercial application first one is the commercial energy resources okay so what is the meaning of commercial the usable energy form such as electricity diesel petrol gas are considered as a commercial energy resources they are essential for commercial activities the economy of country depend on its availability to convert natural raw energy into commercial energy commercial means we can buy the energy resources okay so we can buy electricity from this our board okay diesel we can buy petrol we can buy gas we can buy it is called as the commercial energy resources okay so economy of country is depend on its availability to convert natural raw of energy into commercial energy okay so these energies are commercial and the demand are more electricity demands are more diesels are more means the few of the countries are produce the more commercial energy and its economy are grow with the very high speed okay so in india you can see that is a uh, shortage of power is there okay so that is a power cuts are there that is a one times in a week okay because of this power shortage and when the power shortage are there power cuts are there so industries are not run for a one day okay so our economy growth are reduced due to this power cut due to this power cuts okay so more power is produced than the any country can develop at the more speeds and the second types in the commercial application that is a non commercial energy so non commercial is opposite to the commercial energy resource means the energy derived from the nature and used directly without passing through commercial outlet it is called as the non commercial energy resources means we can directly use it okay so examples of the non commercial energy is the wood animal dug crop so these types of energy resource are the best suitables for the rural and the agriculture applications so thank you for watching this video if you learn something like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends